welcome back to the channel. We're back here at Sioka Kia in Ewing, New Jersey to check out their first 2024 Kia EV9 light long range trim. Aurora Black Pearl is the color. We have a gray seating, seating on the inside, which is a nice combination with the black. So we're gonna take a look at this base trim EV9 with the long range battery and see maybe if this is the one to buy over the higher level trims like the Land or the GT line. So let's dig in. Front end of our EV9, we have the Aurora Black Pearl Kia badge in the middle, full spread of LED lighting up front. We do have functionality down below on the grill to get air into those lithium ion battery pack to cool it down when you're going down the road. But a nice beefy all EV look here on this EV9. And I do like how our our daytime running lights come right down through here and into the grill. I think it's a nice look. Now, as we come around to our wheel and tire setup, we're gonna go with a 19 inch machined aluminum EV wheel. That's why you have this big thing in here to channel air down the side of the vehicle rather than getting caught up in all the spokes. So this 19 inch wheel is are wrapped in Kumho Krugen EV all season tires. Not a big fan of the tire choice, but let me know what you would put on. I certainly wouldn't put on these. Now they're 255 on the width of 60 series sidewall 19s, all four corners, rear wheel drive. Moving on back, Aurora Black Pearl looking good. We have a lot of flat black around the wheel wells and the door sill plates. Let me know how you feel about that. And we do have some chrome that runs underneath the windows and into our tailgate area. Let me know what you think about that. But as we move into our side view mirrors, we're gonna go color match side view mirror and we're gonna go with an LED turn signal. Now the door handles right here, they're sticking out right now because the car is open, but once you lock it and move down the road, they go flush with the body. Again, the channel air down the side of the vehicle and increase range. As we come around up top, we now have a roof spoiler coming off the top, color matched roof, shark fin, and rear end of our EV9. Very Telluride-esque in how it's set up, but it does have its own flair to it. We have the roof spoiler coming off the top, and we have our rear wiper tucked up underneath that. It's going to swoop down, clean off the window, protect that wiper from the elements and car washes. Again, the Aurora Black with the Kia badge in the middle, EV9 underneath that. All LED lighting in the back as well. Down below, we're going to go flat black around the license plate area. All right, we're under the hood of this EV9, and we do have a front-mounted trunk, which I like. It looks good, nice and deep. There's an emergency way to get out of it in case you get locked in it. <laughs> and then we have a little cargo net here to hold things together. So I do like the fact that they have this in here. You don't see that in EV6. But what are we looking at for our battery pack? So we have a 99.8 kilowatt hour, 550 volt lithium ion battery pack in this EV9. Good for 304 miles of total range on a full charge. We're looking at 201 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque in this rear wheel drive EV9. And then we're looking at our MPGEs and we're gonna go 100 in the city, 78 on the highway, 89 combined. We're here at the right rear quarter panel of the EV9 at our charge port. And like I mentioned earlier, we have a 99.8 kilowatt hour, 550 volt lithium ion battery pack in this EV9, 304 estimated miles to a full charge. Now, charging times for this vehicle at a level two charger at home, it's gonna take you just under nine hours for a full charge and about an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes to a full charge at a DC fast charge. Now this has the 800 volt charging architecture in it, just like EV6. So you can go from 10% to 80%, which is about 213 miles of range in only 24 minutes in the CV9. Before we get into the interior of this EV9, you're gonna to wanna to know, Mike, how much for this base trim long range action? Well, here we go. Base price for the 24 EV9 light long range, 59,200. We have a couple of options, and then we need to add in $1,495 for destination and delivery from Kia's South Korea assembly plant. We have a total MSRP from the factory of 61,615 bucks. So we're looking at about $15,000 cheaper than a, an EV9 Land and an EV9, G, uh, EV9 GT line, and that's a lot of money to save, so let's check out the interior. 
Starting with the driver's door panel, we're going to go gray soft touch all the way across the top, then a darker gray trim with some brushed aluminum into your door handle, and get this action. Base trim action, three-stage heated seats, three-stage ventilated seats for the driver and the front passenger. That's some value. Then we're going to go soft touch on our door handle, more gray trim around the grab handle, flat black on our switch gear, and then we also are going to go with power fold side viewed mirrors in the Space Trim EV9. So again, more value there. So I'm loving that. We do have the nice speaker cover here as well. Now as we head to the foot box, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. Floor mats are in the cargo area at this time. Moving out to our seats, full power seats for the driver and the front passenger. Again, more value. We have the gray Syntex seating material, the nice soft netted headrest to caress your head and make it feel so nice when you're going down the road, but it's a nice clean design here on the Space Trim EV9. The front passenger door panel, same exact action as the driver, including the heated and ventilated seats, so I'm loving that. As we move into our dash here, we're going to go with some soft touch, and then some fabric, and then some more gray, and then some brushed aluminum, and then as we drop down, we have a nice large glove box. All right, now infotainment system time. We have Kia's 12.3 inch next generation infotainment system, wireless CarPlay Android Auto, great pinch to zoom capability, dual panel action with passenger talk, which I do like. We're gonna leave up our battery information up here. We do have shortcuts over here on the left side for our heat and air, right over here as, as well as putting it on auto and getting things motoring around, or we can take care of our fan speed that way so it's nice and easy piece of cake we do have also hard controls underneath it to go to setup if you don't want to use the screen and we can hit the setup we have our vehicle we have our EV setup right here where you can get your battery conditioning we can activate that utility mode smart regeneration charging voice alert we can go back to home we can go back to setup sorry I hit the wrong button there so we hit back to setup. We got our navigation sound device connections. We have Bluetooth your phone. We have our vehicle settings. We have our lights, but this EV9 light does not have ambient lighting. So you got to move up in trims to get that. But you can adjust your climate mode from here. You can link your drive modes and whatnot. You got a digital key, you got your convenience features. So there's a lot of nice features in this EV9 system. We can go back to home. Now we can go to reverse. And now we have a nice large backup camera with trajectory, looking beautiful, nicely done. You can hit this and we can get different views. So that's nice as well. Back to park, off it goes. Now down further, we do have our uh, a volume knob. We do have four-way hazards. And now you can adjust your temperature, your fan speed, and the modes for, for your HVAC system where you want the air to go and all that jazz. Now down further, we have a 12 volt, two USB-Cs right in here. So they got you covered there. And then in here on this floating center console, a place to lie your phone, two cup holders, key fob, looking good. It's white. We have lock, unlock, pop the tailgate, panic button, remote start, pop the front mounted trunk. That's where you have that. And then, down further, you have auto vehicle hold, hill descent control, parking cameras, parking sensors. Now, if you had a wireless charging pad, it would be right in here. And we do have a wireless charging pad, so that's a nice uh, touch as well. Didn't think I was gonna get one of those. And then underneath there, a nice area felt line for storage. So they got you going in here. EV9 steering wheel. I have a nice steering wheel, nice 10 and 2 notches, flat on top, flat on the bottom. Kia badge on the horn button. The drive modes are down here, and we'll check those out when we take a look at the dash. We have gray trim on our switch gear, which is nice. Uh, on the left side, you got your uh, adaptive cruise safety suite controls, as well as the controls for your volume and your digital dash. And then on the right side, you got your favorites button, television 
telephone voice commands, modes for your infotainment system, volume, that sort of thing. And then we do have paddles, and these paddles are going to adjust the level of regen braking. So you can go max regen for one pedal driving or minimum regen to drive it like a normal car. And then down here we have our gear shift. And as part of the gear shift, we have the push button start right here as well. Now to put this vehicle in drive, you take the end of the gear shift and twist it towards the dash. To put it in reverse, you twist that towards you. And to put it into park, you push in the end. And there you have it. All right, on the bottom left of the dash, we have the button to open our charge port, button to pop the front mounted trunk or the hood right here, button to pop the tailgate, traction control off, bright and dim the dash, electric parking brake, and then as far as the steering wheel goes, we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel, so Kia has you covered there. And on the stock here, we do our headlights, and then on the right stock, we do front and rear wiper. So they got you covered there. All right, now we're looking at our 12.3 inch digital dash. We have our drive modes where we have sport, custom, snow, eco, and normal. So they got you covered there. So that's good. And then you can also go through additional information in the center. And we do have additional pages that you can page down through to see what you want to see when have up, I should say, when you're going down the road. So it's nice and easy, plain and simple. Overhead console in our EV9. Here's the emergency button. Hey, you have an uh, emergency on the road, the SOS button, I should say. Key connect to connect this EV9 up with your smartphone. If you want to have your lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button remains off. So when you open the door, the LED lighting comes on. Close the door, the LED lighting dims out. As we move to our rear view mirror, it's a frameless rear view mirror auto dim and home link. So they got you covered there. We don't have a roof to show you. So now we'll move over to our sun visor. Nicely done with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. This EV9 light also has the chauffeur controls like you see in the higher level trim. So if there's nobody in the front seat and your backseat passenger wants to stretch out, the driver can just move the seat forward and out of the way for you. Uh, so you can have max relaxation in the back. Nicely done. All right, getting in the mid-row captain's chairs. I have the seat set for my driving position. We'll just hop on in, close the door. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at five foot 11. We're gonna have some fabric back here. We'll have a, a seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. USB-C connectivity for your mid-row passengers in the back of each front seat. So they got you covered there. Two cup holders, and then we have an area in here for storage. So that looks pretty good. Now, as we come on over to our rear door panel, same action as the front, no change in design. So I do like how Kia has that set up. Now, as we move into our captain's chairs, nicely done with the dark gray or black and then the light gray, nice and uh, cushy. We have uh, perforations in it, looks good. And then we have our armrests. It could be a little bit thicker, but they don't ratchet, so I do like that. So overall, it's a nice, nice area back here. Getting into the third row of EV9, you just hit the button right here in this light trim and the seat comes up, moves right in, and now you can just jump right into the third row. And I'm here in the third row. Piece of cake, really. Look at this. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees. This is almost all the way back, and I still got enough room. I have two cup holders, a USB-C on either side for connectivity. So I'm all set, and I'm covered up here by my rear climate. And I got my heat and air vents in the ceiling. And the configuration here is a 2-2-2, two, 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 so this EV9 can safely hold six people. Getting in the cargo area of this EV9 light, you can pop it from the key fob, you can pop it from the dash, you come to the back and right above the license plate there's a button, hit it, beeps a couple of times, nice electric assist on the way up, nice electric assist on the way down using this button, so that's some value in the space trim. Now, 
With all seats up in this EV9, we are looking at 20.2 cubic feet of cargo space. So that's a pretty good number here. Telluride uh, similar. Now, as we come in closer, we do have our charging cables right here. So that's what this is. And underneath here, we do have an area for storage and a fix a flat. And then on this side, we have a home power source. And then we can drop our mid row from here. So that's a nice touch. And then on the right side, we have a 12 volt and we have this button where we can push hold to hold this tailgate up. So that's a nice touch as well. Now to drop the third row, it's a manual deal. You just pull the strap, push them forward, pull the strap, push them forward. Now you got more room. So let me know if you're gonna rock in the EV9 with the third row up or down. Now to get the mid row down, like I said, we got the drops right here from the back. We hit the button, down the mid row goes, hit the button, down the mid row goes, nice and flat. So now with the third row and mid row down, we're looking at 81.7 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of the EV9. Window sticker time on this EV9 light, long range, Aurora Black Pearl, standard features. Options, paint and floor mats. Total MSRP 61,615. MPGEs. Made in Korea. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we are going down the road in this 24 EV9 light long range action. First of all, plenty of visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirror, rear, rear window, no problem. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, pre collision, all that safety tech in the vehicle, as well as LED lighting up front and out back. Plenty of tech in here with the new 12.3 inch infotainment system, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, heated ventilated seats. USB-C uh, connectivity, front, back, and third row, as well as a wireless charging pad. So they really got you covered here with some nice, nice amenities. It handles well. Of course, with this big battery pack sitting in this EV9, you have a very low center of gravity. So even though this vehicle is really, really heavy, it does handle pretty darn well in the corners. Check out our braking. No problem brakes no problem now we'll step on it and up to speed we go now it's not going to pin you back on the seat because this isn't a dual motor setup like we saw with the land and the GT line this is a rear wheel drive vehicle it's got the larger battery pack and we're looking at 201 horsepower 258 pound-feet of torque but with a big huge three-row SUV we have a range of 304 miles estimated and that's pretty darn good for how big and heavy this vehicle is that's for sure it is big and heavy but you know what the steering is tight it's right there's not a lot of loosey-goosey play to it at all um, and it's nice and roomy in here and you got plenty of room for your uh, gear and the uh, your passengers now of course this is a six passenger configuration that might be a little light as far as passengers in this ev9 light ha 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 but you know overall it gives you pretty much everything you want or need in a vehicle you don't need to jazz this thing up to seventy five thousand dollars seventy six thousand even up to seventy eight thousand like the gt line is and the land we saw was like almost 75 grand so you're saving yourself fifteen sixteen thousand dollars on an ev9 and depending on uh your personal circumstance you could get the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit and in New Jersey, you don't have to pay sales tax on an electric vehicle. That'll save you some money. So you possibly could get this thing for low 50s if you play your cards right on an, on an EV9. And I think that's bringing serious value. Serious value. So let me know what you guys think about this EV9 light long range. Is this the kind of action you would want to go with? A setup that's going to maximize your range? 
as well as enable you to carry a lot, some people and a lot of stuff comfortably and still provide you with a good amount of tech, let me know in the comments or are you going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned EV money? Put that in the comments as well. But I do want to thank Sioka Kia here in Ewing, New Jersey for allowing the channel access to their first 2024 Kia EV9 light long range for a review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.